Hi, I'm James, a photographer and online media personality in Atlanta, Georgia. This show is my way of sharing some of my favorite home cooking tips to eating restaurant quality meals on a tight budget through recipes I've learned in my travels and also my West African and Southern American roots. This is The Counter. Good morning, my name is James K. Holder II. Some of you may know me as Sir James II. I'd like to welcome you back to The Counter. Today we're continuing with our Money Saving Morning Routine series, which is targeted to save you $10 or more with 10 minutes in your morning routine. Today we're going to take a vinaigrette salad, which is a Russian preparation, but we're going to update it and make it friendly for springtime. We're also going to do a wonderful chai recipe. And for breakfast, we're going to have a crunchy yogurt grapefruit parfait. So without further ado, we're going to get started on our chai. And what I really want to do is to start assembling my spices for my chai. For this particular recipe, I want to use some clove, 10 of those whole cloves, two star anise, some green cardamom pods, and I'm going to add some whole peppercorns to this as well. This is like the cheapest tea that you could find. Now we're going to make this with almond milk, but I want to start it with hot water and that's going to help these herbs along. So I'm going to pour about three or four tablespoons of water. You can use regular whole milk, you can use skim milk, Whatever works for you, whatever you keep on hand. I'm just going to pour all of this in. I'm going to bring that to a boil and once it gets there, I'm going to just put the lid on this. Add a fresh cinnamon stick into our pot. Let it steep for our full 10 minutes. And the only other thing I want to do first is start on my beets. My rule anytime you use a canned ingredient, whether it's beets, whether it's beans, uh, you always want to try to rinse off as much as you can. I'm gonna let this drain out while I work on supreming my grapefruit. So what I wanna do is just kinda cut to this meat here. Chop off the top and bottom. And I wanna be very careful here and I want to go along the side, the body of this grapefruit. And I wanna just peel that all the way around. I want to get rid of all that bitter white uh, membrane. What you basically want to do is cut on one side of this white membrane that you can see here, cut down to the core where your knife is, and then you want to just slide that out. So that gives you a perfect wedge of just the flesh, and you want to repeat that around the entire grapefruit. My inspiration for this particular dish came from my time in New York. I visited this wonderful uh, Russian restaurant near the Flatiron District. And this was before all of the unpleasantness with them. And they had this salad on the menu that was called a vinaigrette salad. Now for them, it's basically like a vegetable version of a fruit salad where they would take everything they have access to. Beets, potatoes, carrots, anything that they grow there and then put into cans and deliver to their people. I want to now freshen up that recipe with our citrus vinaigrette as opposed to just using, um, you know, what they use in the restaurant. I remember it being a bit salty, a bit sour, kind of like their leader. And I don't really want that in this particular dish. So what I want to use is a fresh grapefruit based vinaigrette. Now I'm on my last wedge here for my vinaigrette, take my uh, ribbed out grapefruit and I'm going to squeeze all this in the bottom of the bowl. So this is a nice grapefruit juice that I'm going to use as the base and go in with just a nice teaspoon of this Dijon mustard. Slide these off of our stem here and I want to get enough leaves of this to just get a full body tarragon flavor. Tarragon adds a nice anise flavor. It's one of the French fine herbs and that's what we want to use here. Basically anything to get the Russian stink off of this original dish. Add that right into our bowl. Grab our shallot. You kind of want to cut in. Watching your fingers, making sure you're not getting too close three quarters of the way down. The last thing I want to do, just kind of come in here and just do a couple big chops in this direction, and then we're just gonna get some nice, really, really tiny pieces of this shallot. You want about a one 
to three ratio on your acid to your oil. Grapeseed oil, it's very light in flavor. Some salt and pepper. Now to taste this, back of our spoon. You can see it coats the back of our spoon. Now I'm gonna start working on the vegetables for our dish. The first thing I wanna do is peel the skin off of this tomato. Go in and just take out this little bit of a core, cut this into eighths. When this whole salad is done, I want it to be really, really pretty, almost like a bunch of jewels. The next thing I'm gonna work on is our fresh avocado. Cut down to that core and just rotate the whole thing. Twist this off. Just, you know, use the knife to remove that core. What I wanna to do today is just do some big diced chunks. This is also a really small avocado. So I'm just gonna cut this into these big sort of chunks here. The next thing I wanna work on is our celery. And what I wanna do is kinda of preserve these celery leaves. They're gonna add a lot of that herb note that I want to capture for this salad. So I'm gonna set these to the side, big chop on these. Cut the bases of these off. Shave these a little bit thin. Now the first time I had this dish, it was at a wonderful Russian restaurant. It was on 23rd Street in New York, uh, near the Flatiron District. Um, it was a very expensive restaurant, but this was not a very expensive dish on their menu. I can't imagine why Russians would need to charge so much for their dishes because they're basically canned vegetables and garbage. But I really just wanna take their traditional Russian recipe and make it edible. Many of you on Twitter tried to discourage me from this recipe. Oh, it's a Russian recipe, don't do anything Russian. I was like, nah, nah, nah. And then it was, oh God, beets. Why would you cook anything with beets? Beets are one of the healthiest, most potent superfoods on the planet. And just because it's synonymous with our red, not so neighborly neighbors across the Bering Strait, that we can't starve ourselves because of political influence or anything else. I'm gonna use these nice Persian cucumbers, or for this demo, we'll call it Iranian cucumbers. And we're gonna slice these in similar form as our celery. Cucumber is one of the best ingredients in getting a bad taste out of your mouth. If you eat cucumber before you get shay face drunk. Now, just a fact, use it as you wish. Now we've got our wonderful beets here. They're gonna add a brilliant, beautiful color. It is draining all over my countertop, much like Vladimir Putin is draining the Russian people. Fresh celery. I'm going to take about half of these grapefruits. I can't tell you if a Russian has ever had a grapefruit. I really couldn't tell you that I care because I don't. And also, I just really fully anticipate that I'm gonna get some hate mail from those people. And the joke's on them, I can't read those squiggly little characters they use anyway. So send away. Our last fresh ingredient, some curly parsley. It adds a nice freshness. If you're one of the many American families who has to subsidize their food budget with uh, ingredients from a pantry, you're always gonna have access to canned beets. And while canned ingredients do incorporate an ungodly amount of sodium, some of the ways you offset that um, problem and balance it out for your health is to just rinse them off thoroughly. If you have the time, soak them in cold water. And then you also wanna just incorporate fresh herbs and fresh citrus if you can. I really love how all of this looks. This is just wonderful. Again, we've got all of our jewel-inspired colors and flavors, and we're just gonna coat all of that with our nice, herby, tarragon, dressed, tarragon and grapefruit vinaigrette. Just coat this, toss this till it's all nice and coated. So our chai is ready. Uh, assemble this in here like so. So I'm just gonna pour this slowly. So this is our 16 ounce chai, ready. Now, yogurt is going to be our primary source of protein for today. 20 grams of protein per serving, and that's in one cup. And it's just nice and creamy and tangy, and it might be a little bit tangier than I want for my uh, sweet breakfast application. To this, I'm just gonna add a little taste of honey, and I'm just gonna swirl this around. You could do this in any to-go container, any cup that you wanted to use, and I'm just gonna place these Grapefruit Supremes right along the bottom of our dish. And then I'm gonna scoop in 
some of our honey mix, our honey yogurt mix. Then I want to go in with our crispy topping and add a little bit of crunch and body to this very simple, very affordable dish. With our last big dollop, crunchy bits on top. And then I'm going to pair those with our wonderful fresh grapefruit supremes. Now, if this isn't the most beautiful, quick, and easy breakfast you've ever seen, with just our fresh grapefruit, our fresh Greek yogurt. The last thing I want to do is assemble our salad. So again, I only want about half of this in this bowl. We see that beautiful red from our tomatoes. We see the cucumbers present. We see that green from our curly parsley, our celery. I'm just gonna dress it up a little bit. You know, just because it's inspired by drab, cold, dark Russian forces, doesn't mean it has to present that way in our palate. So we're gonna come in with some nice, fresh celery leaves right on top. And again, because this particular dish is, you know, pretty plain on its own, um, the Russian people are a little bit deprived of vitamin D and maybe protein because they don't have any meat where they are. So what we're gonna do is soften that blow a little bit. And we're gonna add some of our wonderful fresh Greek yogurt. And for this particular demo, we have to make sure that we're using Chobani. Our Winter Olympians' favorite yogurt is Chobani brand. Although they were denied this brand of yogurt when they participated in the 2014 Winter Games in Sochi, the state of Georgia has plenty of Chobani goodness, and we are putting a dollop on for Mariah Nagasu, Nathan Chen, Adam Rapon. And so we are just going to celebrate our 2018 Winter Olympic athletes with their favorite form of yogurt that they may have been denied if they were left out of the Olympics in 2014. And although none of those three people competed in 2014, they all showed up and showed out in Pyeongchang, South Korea, where they represented their country very, very well. So this is my celebration to you all. This is my homage and <laughs> shady tribute to the people of Russia, except Vladimir Putin and his <laughs> Donald Trump. We've got our honey, crunchy grapefruit yogurt parfait. We've got our brown sugar and cinnamon chai latte with almond milk. And then we've got our wonderful spring vinaigrette salad that was inspired by the original um, vinaigrette salad of Russia. I hope you'll try this recipe at home and let me know how it worked out for you. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. I want you to retweet this and repeat this video. If you liked what you saw here, make sure to watch future and past episodes of The Counter at www.thecountertv.com. And if you really want to support, make sure to make a donation to the PayPal link that is www.paypal.me jkh2. I thank you all for tuning in and I hope to see you next week.